Hi guys, welcome to another Divi themed video. This is Jamie from System22 at webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got some fun for you today. We've got three alternative CSS animations for you. When the page loads, if I refresh this page, if we look at these three images here, they're going to zoom in diagonally there. Divi comes with some great little animations built in, but we've created this with a bit of CSS for a few alternatives for you. If you look at these two, they're going to flip in twice round. And if we roll down, we've got some buttons here that are going to roll in and they're going to rotate twice around 720 degrees. And that's pretty cool. Like I say, these are really easy to do. I've written the CSS code and I'll put this code down below for anybody that just wants to copy and paste it. Okay, if we look at the first one, it's a diagonal in, and this is our little images right here. What it's doing is starting off as invisible with the opacity zero there, then it's transforming around the axis of minus 100, and it's coming in forwards. It's taking a second for this. If you want to slow it down, make it slower, you can up the timing. And the keyframes we've built for this little animation Again, it's going to start invisible. It's going to translate around the x-axis, come in, and then at 100%, or second two at the end of our two seconds, it's going to be fully visible and be in the right place, translate x at zero. So let's just publish that. I've slowed it down a little bit. Now, if we refresh the page, those are taking two seconds. That's entirely up to you. You can speed it up to half a second, 0.5 seconds if you want to. I think I like the one second though, personally. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to enable the Visual Builder here and we'll show you exactly what Divi's inbuilt animations will do. If I go down here, perhaps to this module, and I go in there, if we go to our Design tab, we can go down to the animations and here are the ones that Divi's actually got. If I move this over to the side here, We've got a regular fade, which will just fade in like that. We've got a slide, and he'll sort of slide and zoom in like that. We've got a bounce. We've got another zoom type effect. We've got a flip. We've got a fold. And we've got a little roll. And they're great, but we've kind of done our own thing here with a few little alternatives to you. And you can slow the things down here and have delays and intensity and what have you. So to apply this particular diagonal in to any particular module, row, or even section if you want to, just copy the actual class name diagonal in without the dot. Make sure you don't copy the dot. We'll copy that. We'll go over to our module. Let's, we're in this module. We'll place it in this module. Go over to your advanced, to your CSS ID and classes. It's a class. Make sure you don't put it in ID. It's a class thing. So we can just paste it in there. And now we've got this little entrance animation on that one also. Okay, well, that's our little diagonal in. Our next one is a little flip in. And what I've got, I've got some call to action cards and I'm having them flip round 360 degrees around the X axis. And again, I'm making mine last three seconds for the flip in. And it's going to start off at negative 360 and at the 100% mark, the end of the three seconds, it's going to end up in the correct position. Just to demonstrate that, if we roll down and go into one of these modules, if we go down to CSS ID, we've got the flip in. If I take that away, control X and then put it back in there, you can see it doing the flip. I've got those for all three of these. And again, if you wanted to do that to any other module, just copy the class name, flip in. Remember, we need to copy it without the dot. It needs to have the dot when it's in the additional CSS panel, but not when you're putting it in as a class. For instance, let's go up to this one above. Let's pop it in here. And we'll give it that class. And now we got that double little flip on that one. Like I say, another little nice little alternative effect. I just save this now. Let's just exit the Visual Builder. 
Now we'll look at our third one, which is a simple fit spin in. I've got a button. I've got it rotated negative 720 degrees from the start. I'm going to have it spin in two seconds. The animation is going to take two seconds. It's going to start off at negative 720 and it's going to end up at zero, which is the correct position, which is going to spin our buttons twice round, twice round the 360. If I go back to our page now, we go down to our buttons. I just do a quick refresh. You can see our little buttons are spinning in just like that. And that's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if that happens on your page. If you need to modify it, you can slow it down and speed it up there. We can take the actual amount that it rotates by up or down. If we change it just to 360, we need to th change the 360 here also. We'll publish that code, go back to the page. Now when I refresh, these are going to flip around just once. And there we have it. They're just flipping the once. I quite like the 720 actually. That's entirely up to you. You can go crazy. Have it rotate as many times as you want. That's the great thing about animations. So let's just flip that back. Refresh our page. And now they're flipping around twice. There we go. So there you go, guys. There's three little easy CSS animations for your site. Here you've got the diagonal fade in. You've got the flip. And we've got the double rotate here as well. And remember, if I enable the visual builder here to apply it to anyone, just take the class name without the dot or period. And don't forget this codes down below the video for anybody who wants to copy and paste it. I'm going to copy that class thing. We'll go back over. Go down to the thing that you want to apply it to. This is going to look kind of crazy on this big wide module here. But just to demonstrate, go in there. Go over to your advanced CSS IDs and classes. Remember to put it in the class, not the ID. Paste it in there. And there it is. It's flipping around a couple of times. That's a little too much on that big thing for me, but that's entirely up to you. So there we have it, guys. There's three easy CSS animations to add a little bit more dynamics to your Divi site. Really easy to do and great fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, Pop them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.